friends hope you all are doing well and staying safe welcome back to yet another video of the football mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the world of football after such a dreadful and tragic day in the history of indian football after fifa officially suspended the aiff it is an unfortunate circumstances that its repercussions have soon become evident and unfortunately a 23 member team in gokulam kerala fc which was you know wanting to participate in the afc women's club championship unfortunately has been left stranded at tashkent uzbekistan after hearing that fifa had suspended the aiff which means that no team or club can participate in any international competition till the suspension is lifted and unfortunately the gokulam kerala fc had no choice but to seek help from the prime minister of india and the sports minister of india which are narendra modi and shri anurag thakur respectively and this becomes a very very drastic consequence which is something which is unheard of and these players are not at fault since 2019 gokulam kerala's women's team has been the most consistent team they are in the verge of making the entire nation proud and they are the front runners for taking women's football forward and you know after putting in so many hours and months and seasons of practice putting in that work ethic and putting in that dedication for you know taking women's football forward they have to unfortunately face these consequences because of the AIFF and FIFA are right in their terms because they were clear that third party intervention is something which we don't entertain and the consequences are there for everyone to see just not even 48 hours since the suspension was imposed on the AIFF and you know this team from Gokulam Kerala is left stranded at Uzbekistan and i just don't understand how you know the prime minister and the sports minister of india can do anything at all to revoke this situation and ensure that the team participates in the afc women's club championship after you know having the entire season gone after looking at all the positive results and going into the training with an optimism that they will be competing for the afc women's club championship they are unfortunately not allowed to go anywhere and i just don't understand how you know the consequences will actually have a ripple effect on other institutions in india which are looking to you know promote indian football if you look at the grassroots if you look at the different academies which india has produced over the years gokulam kerala is one such club which has had a consistency in terms of promoting players in terms of their participation at the national level and in terms of producing players to the top level and everyone who is associated with this club i feel really really sorry for you guys because you have actually made the entire nation proud and the afc women's club championship is no mean feat this is one of the biggest competitions for women's football in asia and definitely women's football has grown for so many years and gokulam kerala deserves a spot if this is the consequence of aiff's suspension then i am sorry to say that things are going from bad to worse and this is something which i never expected to happen in the first place after you know looking at the situation with the supreme court how the aiff is so helpless and having you know no power at all and you know according to the fifa sources it has been revealed that this suspension will be lifted only when the day to day affairs of the aiff will be in place which will be in order and everything will be running smoothly without seeking help of any third party that is clear from fifa side but just look at how these young girls will be feeling right now these are players who have given it their all on the training pitch and they have been the champions of domestic women's football in india for a reason and if you look at the way they were shaping up for this competition everyone was so optimistic because they have been simply brilliant in the domestic season and you know it just comes as a very unfortunate news in my opinion and people might think that well 
India deserved the suspension. India deserved so many critics, and the politics actually overpowered Indian football. That is the bottom line, my friends. And if there is any other opinion which you would like to bring out, I would love to know your thoughts because this is not the only consequence which we will be facing from here on till the suspension is lifted. There might be more cases where we will be seeing that you know players are not training properly. The season will be you know rescheduled to some other time, maybe not in November this year, and it might the ISL might actually start next year. There are so many possible consequences till the AIFF elections are held and the entire situation of Indian football is in a standstill. And if nothing changes in the short term, I am really afraid of what can happen in the long term. And this is just a small incident which has just happened after the team came to know of AIFF's suspension. So guys, please let me know what are your thoughts about this sorry state of affairs how do you feel and how do you think this situation can be improved unfortunately gokulam kerala have fallen as the victims of this you know suspension and it is not a very big surprise that things are actually unfolding for the worse so please let me know what are your thoughts about this current situation of indian football how can you know, such standout teams like Gokulam Kerala do what can they do in this situation? Please let me know your thoughts. And if you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it amongst your friends. And your support has been so crucial in this journey so far. So, to engage you all, I'll be bringing you all some exciting content on a daily basis. So, if you have not yet subscribed to the Football Mania, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. For regular updates so until next time stay safe and take care